Yo, this is the Sky City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company. Get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. I really appreciate you joining me today and this story comes from Birmingham. We will always do follow-ups to stories. We do not intervene in any cases or try to influence them in any way, shape or form. But we will document it to the best of our ability when it is appropriate to do so. Four men have been convicted of the murder of Dante Mullins in May of 2019. And today the police have released the CCTV footage of the moment that gunmen opened fire in the city street near a school. They believed it was a gang rivalry set about as a retaliation. They wanted to get revenge for a stabbing that had occurred previously. The police have said through meticulous CCTV and phone analysis, they have determined that Dio Jackson, Isan Bernard, Omani Bernard Sewell and Ayub Mahmood, they had all denied conspiracy to commit murder at Birmingham Crown Court, but were found guilty on the 4th of February 2021 for conspiracy to murder and possessing a firearm with intent to endanger life. Dante Mullins was in a car that was parked by shops on St Vincent Street West in Ladywood at 5pm on the 7th of May. A gunman passed by the vehicle and opened fire. At least eight shots were discharged from a pistol that was aimed out of a Volkswagen Passat window. One bullet struck Mr Mullins in the lower back and despite CCTV showing him running from the car and jumping over roadside barriers, he fell down seconds later and suffered fatal injuries. Two other passengers survived, although they suffered gunshot wounds. At least eight bullets were fired into the Corsa. The Passat which was stolen and displaying cloned number plates was found on Duddeston Manor Road in Nietzsche's later that night. Bernard and Bernard Sewell, both prominent gang members the police said, orchestrated the murder plot they said in revenge for the stabbing 24 hours earlier in which a friend was critically ill in hospital. Detectives went through hours of CCTV to track the Passat at various points throughout the day through the area of Great Hampton Row and immediately after the murder. The footage shows 20-year-old Jackson walk around the direction of the Passat into a block of flat, wearing a grey hoodie, but when he comes back, he's changed his top into a different colour. Further CCTV and phone analysis implicated Bernard and Sewell. Detectives discovered that Mahmood contacted a garage and collected clone plates from a business in Hampstead Road at 2.20 on the day of the murder. When they raided the site on the 3rd of July, police found a machete and laptop software used to create registration plates. Bernard Sewell, aged 24, was arrested in Selly Oak on the 16th of July and Bernard from King Standing was arrested at Birmingham Airport on a flight from Amsterdam. Oh, Billy, do you want to go with my colleague? Do you want to call me, my man? Thank you very much. Do you want, mate? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Jackson from Great Bar surrendered to the police the next day and 19-year-old Mahmood from Lazales was arrested during a dawn raid on the 7th of August. The murder weapon was a 9mm semi-automatic pistol and it was found in a bag in Charter Street in Leicester, which is in a totally different city in the West Midlands, on the 4th of November 2019. The gun was loaded with one bullet and eight other rounds were alongside it in a satchel. It was examined by ballistics experts and shown to have fired the rounds that killed Dante Mullins. And this was also linked to four other firearm discharges in Birmingham in 2018. One of them shootings was on Wheeler Street in Newtown on 16th of November 2018. I was able to find out that it happened at 2.30 and it involved a 21-year-old that was left with very serious injuries after this. So that was one gun that was responsible for four shootings and one murder in two years. They will be sentenced at a later date, and Detective Inspector Hannah Whitehouse said the shooting was prompted by the stabbing the previous day. The defendants were all friends or associates of the victim and made a pact to get revenge. However, neither Dante Mullins nor the two men in the car were even involved in the attack. We don't think they were specifically targeted, but the, the defendants drove around Ladywood searching for anyone associated to a certain group. Unfortunately for Dante, they came across him and his friends first and Dior Jackson was in the Volkswagen Passat at the time alongside another man, but we weren't able to prove who pulled the trigger. 
we were able to show that all four of them plotted together to actually try to kill all three of the people in the car. Two of the men were cleared of any involvement in the murder plot. This is the latest case since lockdown postponed a lot of murder trials from Birmingham in relation to gangland murders. There is going to be several more in the coming weeks as well. So I send my condolences to the family of Dante Mullins and hopefully we can try to find some answers and to help the youngers to make better solutions to these problems. The most recent shooting in Birmingham happened last night on the 3rd of February at quarter past 10. This shooting happened in Handsworth and our photographer Snapper SK went to the scene and the local inspector Nicholas Hill said that this is another incident of dangerous violence in Handsworth. They know local people are extremely worried about the shooting especially after the murder of Kean Lincoln nearby in Linwood Road a few weeks ago. They do not believe the incident is connected but they've stepped up patrols in the local area to bring people reassurance. Handsworth is a couple of miles away from Ladywood, not even that far. And it's just another example of how far far and wide it reaches and the effects that it does have for families. So I really appreciate you joining me for this episode. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Peace.